Hi, I'm Paul Packish. I'm going to talk to you about why it's important to get trip insurance, even if you think you don't need it. A lot of people think they can save money on a trip by not buying trip insurance. Let me tell you something. If you need it, it's really going to make a big difference. Just a quick disclaimer, I do not sell trip insurance. I have nothing to do with any trip insurance company. I'm just a person who has experienced needing the benefits of trip insurance on multiple occasions. The first one was when my first wife had a sudden cardiac arrest prior to a trip in 2006. At that time, we had already booked a trip that was going to be overseas. She was in no condition to be able to travel. We had less than two months to go, and there was no way that she was going to recover in time to travel. So we had already purchased our trip insurance, and trip insurance covered just about everything. We got, you could consider them refunds, refunds, but what they really are are claims that we submitted, and uh, we got covered for everything that was claimed, including airfare and the um, hotels and other expenses that we have. And the same thing happened again in 2014 when we were about to go traveling. And uh, once again, trip insurance saved thousands of dollars for us. If we hadn't filed trip insurance or if we hadn't purchased clip insur trip insurance, we would not have received any of that money back because it was non-refundable. Then the next big one that happened to me, I was on a trip to Europe. I had been in several countries in Europe and got to London in England and suddenly had chest pains that I initially thought, I initially thought it was acid reflux. I ended up calling the British version of 911 and when the medic came and assessed me, he determined that I needed to go to a hospital. So they took me to a hospital and took me over and determined it was my gallbladder. So I spent five nights in a London hospital. They did not take my gallbladder out there because they didn't want to take out my gallbladder and do that kind of surgery on me and then send me on a seven-hour flight home. So they got me well enough to fly home, and once I got home, my gallbladder was removed. Now, as far as expenses that were incurred because of that, because I was an American, they did want to charge me for my hospital services. Ultimately, that was paid for by my medical insurance, but my trip insurance would have covered it if my regular medical insurance did not cover it. They also, they also paid for a change in flight plans because I had to take a different flight home from what I was originally going to do. They covered uh, hotel expenses that I lost as well as some others. So altogether, I think it was probably around twelve to thirteen thousand dollars in claims that they reimbursed me for. Now, while I was in the hospital, they told me that another American had already been there that summer. And with the condition that he had, it would have cost him $70,000 to get home from England back to America. He did not have trip insurance. So ultimately, he ended up having to either find the money or pay it or something. So those are some hard-hitting personal stories about my personal experience with trip insurance. So if you're going to do any kind of traveling and you want to make sure that you're safe, you better get some trip insurance. It's really cheap compared to the expenses you would have to pay if you don't have it and you're stuck, especially in a foreign country somewhere. Thanks and have a good day.